Hi everyone, we're at the Naval Group's Naval Innovation Days this morning and we are now focusing on the integration of unmanned systems. Royal Emmerich, so uh, to start with, why is uh, the integration of uh, unmanned systems is so important nowadays uh, as far as the shipbuilder is concerned? This is very important for the matter of uh, operational efficiency. There are a lot of capable uh, drones on the market, but uh, almost none is fully adapted for naval operations. And therefore, Naval Group, as a shipbuilder and also a system of system integrator, is the only one to fully integrate at the best level all these unmanned systems. And Rick, you're showcasing a number of uh, systems on your, on your booth here. Uh, can you please uh, guide us through them, uh, starting with uh, this uh, box showing uh, several uh, UAVs? Yes, uh, this is uh, the first illustration of the constraints on board. Uh, you know that swarm drones can bring a lot of operational capability by combination of uh, sensors and effectors and also bring some uh, overwhelming effect on uh, the opponent. But uh, the main constraint is on board, the lack of space. How do you uh, have a swarm on board? This is why Naval Group in a partnership with Icarus Swarm Dronizos has developed this Swarm Drone Box uh, to uh, stow on board in the minimum space the larger amount of uh, unmanned system uh, and uh, UAVs uh, on the ship. Thanks to this you can uh, stack many uh, UAVs uh, in a very small uh, footprint on board the ship. Yes, that's right. Uh, each box is able to nowadays to uh, stack uh, six unmanned uh, uh, six UAVs and uh, to uh, launch them fully automatically. Has this been uh, tested? Yes, it has already been tested at sea. On board our unmanned surface vehicle uh, named Sterendu this summer in Lorient and it has uh, brought uh, full uh, capability uh, to uh, a first step. Emric, uh, this is, uh, I suppose, another system to deploy uh, UAVs? Yes, this system illustrates the consideration of relative movement between the platform and the unmanned system. And this is uh, why after more than 10 years of uh, experience in uh, operating UAVs on board uh, combat ships, Naval Group has developed this box that compensates the movement of the platform to be able to operate the uh, drone. And the, this box is able to compensate up to 15 degrees the movement of the ship, which is a lot and gains in a lot of its security and of course operational capability. It is able to, uh, to uh, welcome and operate uh, small drones, but up to medium, uh, which is uh, very interesting in that case. And of course it illustrates other uh, stakes such as uh, the, the, the protection against environment aggression such as uh, the, sea, the water, the salt the, and other, any other shock. It, uh, just as well as the swarm drone box we just saw, it can be placed anywhere in a ship of almost any size. Hey, Mike, we are now uh, standing by uh, a model that was used uh, for actual tank testing uh, in the Netherlands as part of the RMCM, uh, the Belgian and Dutch uh, program for the replacement of uh, mine warfare vessels. Yes, indeed. And uh, what you see here is the second version of uh, this um, uh, launch and recovery system. And uh, I can describe shortly the, the evolution uh, brought by the uh, tank trials, but also the full-size sea trials. And the uh, three main innovations there. The first one is are this uh, small extension that helps the, the USV not to move too much when it comes in the, in the berth. Then you have articulated uh, uh, support here that can absorb the shock and make it uh, so the, the loss is less suffering of the contact between the two. And then you have this small piece here that stabilizes the launch and recovery system and uh, uh, allows a um, uh, greater sea state to operate the USV. So these changes will be applied to the final product for the, the, the Belgian and Dutch program? Definitely.
Yes. There's another topic uh, currently that just surfaced for, for Naval Group. It's uh, BGDM, so that acronym stands for the basically the, the next generation uh, MCM vessels of the French Navy. Uh, so France uh, decided to sign an agreement with Belgium and the Netherlands to uh, use the same uh, mothership designs, basically. So, but the challenge is that France is going to use uh, different USBs compared to Belgium and the Netherlands. So how are you going to adapt uh, this slots uh, to accommodate the French needs? Well, we are, we are going to adapt it. Uh, we already adapted it to make it uh, able to welcome different hull shape. So this is what the, there are the modification I told you. And so the Alcyon hull shape now fits in. And uh, uh, the, the other thing is that the Alcyon mast will be adapted by the manufacturer to, uh, so it can fit in with the proper height. Last but not least, uh, Naval Group is showcasing uh, the actual UAV uh, system that was used uh, recently for their experiment demonstrating uh, the launch of a UAV from a submerged submarine. Uh, we covered it back in, uh, in August. Emric, uh, can you confirm that this test was, uh, was successful with the French Navy? Yes, that was uh, fully successful with the drone being deployed from uh, undersea. Uh, then going on the surface, taking off and then sending all the information to the submarine that could uh, in real time see uh, all the motion picture and the situation around it. So that was the operational gain we wanted to bring to the submarine and uh, it was a success, yes. Thank you very much, Emeric. You're welcome. Thank you, Xavier.